you know what, in the last few weeks we've seen some massive releases in the iron market. But there's one brand that has so far been missing for quite a while in terms of new releases. Well, at least when it comes to irons, that is. In recent weeks, we've seen the Callaway Apex Pro line, or we've seen the TaylorMade P790s being released. And not to mention the Titleist T-Series of four new additional irons to their lineup. And that's not to mention in the early part of the year we've seen new Callaway Paradigm lineup, we've seen uh, Stealth from TaylorMade, we've seen the ZX range from Strixon, and we've also seen the Ping G430 lineup. But I did say we were missing one brand from that list, and uh, it's that brand you know that, uh, well, yeah. Nothing quite feels like. Yes, of course, that brand is Mizuno, and today's video is all about, well, basically a warning to anyone who is considering buying new irons right now, because well, we've got a bit of news that you may or may not be aware of. And the simple explanation is, weight is my opinion, if you're considering pulling the plug on some new irons, because the Mizuno Pro lineup is about to be refreshed. I don't know when exactly, but I know it is definitely on the horizon and in my opinion you should sit tight and from what I'm seeing you should sit tight because from a few leaks on Instagram and a little bit of poking around what I've managed to find out is that imminently we will see a new lineup of Mizuno Pro 241 243 and 245s this is how the lineup is going to look there's not massive changes visually but there are some elements i want to talk about and from what i've done in terms of digging around i can certainly see what we can expect in terms of improvements in the next iteration from the Zuno Pro Irons. So let's talk about the elements that I do know in terms of those leaked images and a little bit of digging around. Well, like I said, there is a change in the way they look to a degree, but in particular, it's that 243 that was the 2 two three which has changed in my opinion it's only a small tweak but it now sits a lot more streamlined in between the uh, 241 and what will be the 245 and what that means is the ability to blend them into a set is more easily done from a visual perspective because that one did really in my opinion the 223 stick out a little bit and put me off mixing those sets together Oh, my word. There's no doubt about it, and nothing does feel like a Mizuno, and especially striking a long iron, a five iron, and a 221, that's pure. But aside from the looks, what else do we know? And before I give any sort of reveal, I'm going to ask you a question. If you own any of these sets of irons in terms of that 221 lineup, if you could ask for one more or maybe two more things, what would they be? If I said faster ball speeds and more forgiveness, I'm pretty much sure all of you would say yes, please. Well, if we start with that 245, which was the, uh, the more forgiving model of the lot, then what I am reading is it has become more forgiving than its predecessor. It's got a wider, a thicker area in terms of where, we're about hit, where we hit the ball from. It's also got faster ball speeds from a new piece of technology that's being introduced for the very first time, claiming it to be the most forgiving and fastest Mizuno iron ever. We will see, obviously, but the other interesting thing I can see from a visual perspective is the top line of the 225 seems to have been very much chamfered off, which gives, again, a perception of a much smaller iron at address in terms of that top line, and I love the fact that they've done that because effectively they've made what is an iron with a bit of help being designed visually for a player that needs their help but wants to play the smaller profile i certainly would fit into that category right let's see if we can get another five iron with a two two one oh do you know what that's so nice i just pulled it down the left oh and clack the tree at the same time. I'm definitely not good enough for these things, although I do question, God blimey, they feel so good. 
I generally give up a few yards for these and I can't wait to try the 2-4 ones. But anyway, back to the midline, which will be the 2-4-3. Very much sits in the middle, a bit more muscle back than that. Uh, what will be the 2-4-1. What I'm reading is each of these irons has very much been designed individually in terms of the way it's made up. It's looking like we've seen with other manufacturers, almost designing the iron individually based on spin performance, based on launch characteristics. So each iron looking to do something very specific and what is in the bottom end of the bag will be very different from the top end of the bag. So something again, very different in those two, four, threes. Just release out. Yeah, that's more like it. And just about handle a nine iron with a chip and run in the two, two ones. So two four ones, what's changing there? Well, a big mention, it's all about them thickening the hitting area, as they call it. So for me, that suggests, again, we've got potentially a bit more ball speed, but potentially as well, a bit more in terms of forgiveness in a two four one. Now, it's not necessarily what you're looking for in an iron that is all out a blade to all intents and purposes, but the idea of that little bit of help, forgiveness and ball speed, well, it wouldn't go amiss no matter what type of player you are. You know, the problem I have is every time I pick up a club such as the 241, 221, I just love the damn things and I'm uh, already thinking I cannot wait to hit uh, the next lineup of Mizuno Pros. The fact is, I know nothing more than this at this stage and uh, like i said it was from a little bit of digging around that i got to where we are right now but the video is all about giving you a bit of a heads up because there's nothing worse than uh, parting with a bit of cash and then finding out something else has been released just weeks after you've parted with your hard-earned money so i felt it was more of a a duty to uh, report what I found. Many of you will have seen these leaks on Instagram, but many of you won't. Uh, so like I said, it's a bit of a heads up. As I said at the beginning, nothing majorly changed there. We don't know anything like pricing and all those kind of things, but uh, expect these to be top end in terms of price. And it very much is a quality product, a quality build. I just love the Mizuno Pro lineup. Uh, I come that close to switching up into some kind of mix up of the three sets uh, the first time round. And I've got a funny feeling that uh, just a quick glance at these, if they are a little bit more forgiving, if they've got a little bit more ball speed out of that centre of the club face, do you know what? I think they just could be the perfect irons because there's nothing looks as good as them right now on the market, in my opinion. Certainly the feel is really right up there and arguably nothing does feel like a Mizuno in this lineup. So I'm just questioning how on earth I'm not going to end up with these in the bag. Anyway, that's me done. We'll keep it short and sweet. Like I said, a bit of a heads up. Let me know what your thoughts are. What are you thinking of this new lineup? Are you hanging on in there? Are you going to be uh, saving the pennies and looking to make an investment very, very shortly? I don't know when, but it's got to be soon. Right, I'll see you all soon.